What's going on, pals and gals? Today, we are playing the lovely game Pal World. In this video, we'll be going over on how to become a capitalist. In this video, we'll go over on which pals you need to hire, the best spot to place your Amazon warehouse, and a lot more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So, you just finally spawned into the world. Well, the first thing that you're gonna do is go down the specific stairwell. The reason that we're going down this specific stairwell is because you can get a decent amount of loot right off the bat, and you can beat a few pals into submission. Now, as you're coming down here, make sure that you pick up stone and wood, as this will be important for later. And hopefully by now, you've ranked up if you've been collecting loot in the area, so go ahead and start using those points. I personally like focusing on the stamina, as it will help you travel around and beat up multiple pals in one setting. As you are going down, go to the right side of the beach and pick up this little guy he will be important for later so don't worry about it right now but if you do see these little guys in the area go ahead and try to get them now we're going to focus on getting tools so go ahead and press b and bring out the primitive workbench. For this, you're gonna need two wood. Go ahead and plop this bad boy down anywhere. It won't matter because we'll be picking it up afterwards anyway. Now you're gonna go into the crafting menu and we're gonna make a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. For this, you're gonna need 10 wood and 10 stone and just a little bit of your time. So make sure that you have those resources ready. And you probably saw these blue little rocks in the area. So go ahead and start mining them up with your pickaxe so you can make a few pal spheres of your own. Now go into your inventory, go over to the technology section and grab every Every single item besides the repair kit and don't worry about getting the bow right now as you can get it when you rank up next now as you can see you can get a few pal spheres so you can capture your little guys and go ahead and craft one up we are now done with the workbench so go ahead press b and then press c and then just disassemble the workbench. And by this point, you should be a level three or four. So go ahead and focus on your weight or your stamina. Now, as we're traveling back up, go ahead and beat up a Cattiva or a lamb ball so you can capture him and make him your little pet. And if you see a little chicky, go ahead and beat him up for some food because he is kind of useless. Plus, I recommend getting a little bit of stone and wood in the area just so when we're back in the spawn area, everything will be very smooth. And if you're wondering how to climb up this wall, literally just jump on it, press W, and you'll be okay. I swear you are not trapped. Now, we made it back to the spawn area and go on over to this little statue and press F on it. Now, you're going to go beat up this guy. All right, you learned an important lesson that you can die in this game. So don't do that again. Make sure to respawn at Windswept Beginnings if you did actually die. And go to where you died to collect your loot. Now start making your way over to the right side and collect a few berries and just a few other miscellaneous items on the ground. And once you're done with that, go on over to the little waterfall. There you should find a Fortnite chest. And sometimes it does require a copper key. So if that's the case, do not worry about it and you can come back to it later. Now as you're making your way back down the hill, you'll see this nice little area that is completely flat this area is now going to be your amazon warehouse what you're going to do you're going to go into the build menu and you're going to place down your first pal box now remember this is actually very important if you are going to follow the guide completely make sure that when you are placing the box the blue border on the edge does not hit the water and you want to make sure that the blue border is hitting those palladium ores so your guys can pick them up later and don't worry if you do mess it up you can pick it up just like i did and try to replace it in a slightly different spot but still make sure that it does not hit the water. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit this tree so we can build our first base. Go ahead and open up your build menu, go into the foundations menu and try to build your first little area. I try to keep mine near the water, but it is completely up to you on where you would like to build your first little base. Just keep in mind all that flat land will be used for other things later on. Now that you built your base, go ahead and place the primitive workbench. And nearby, go ahead and place the repair bench. And if you haven't already, go ahead and build the pal box. Now what's going on, you're going to get your unpaid employees to start working for you instantly. And make sure in the first slot, place a Cattiva as it'll be your best worker for the time being. Now we're going to go back and place a chest right next to the workbench. Now, go inside the house, place your bed, and if you don't have wool, just go capture or kill a lamb ball real quick. By this point, you should be able to upgrade your base two times, so go ahead and do that. Now, by this point, you should be a level four or five, so go ahead and get the following items. The feed box, the clothes outfit, stone spear, common shield, and old bow. And if you need a bit more XP, go ahead and make a few pal spears and collect the lamb balls and cativas. Don't forget to put these guys to work as they are now your loyal employees. Now that it's starting to get a little bit dark, place your campfire near your bed and head on over down to sleep.
You'll wake up and instantly start seeing your loyal employees working for you right off the bat. Just make sure that you have two Cativas and one Lambo working for you for the time being. Now we're going to go over to the Prim Workbench and make your first set of armor. So you have to craft cloth and then go ahead and craft the clothes outfit. Once that is done, go ahead and equip it. And if you do not have the common shield, make sure that you get that real quick, the berry plantation and the normal parachute. And now go ahead and make the common shield. Once you've acquired those items, now we're going to go ahead and actually make your first weapons. The weapons that we are crafting is the stone spear and the old bow. If you don't have all the materials yet, it's okay. Go whack a few trees and stone nodes in the area. Now make a few arrows. I recommend at least making 20 as it will be your best weapon to use. Then go ahead and make a parachute as this will be the last item that we need to craft. Great, now we're ready for adventure, but not quite yet. We gotta do a few more base management things before we leave. Now you need to place a feed box and a berry plantation. Don't forget to put a little bit of berries inside of the feed box just so your guys will not starve. And then we need to make pal beds. Go ahead and place at least three of them. I personally like putting them around these rocks, but it's completely up to you. Now you should be able to upgrade your base two more times, so go ahead and do that. For the time being, only have two Cativas and two Lamb Balls. For the extra slot, you can put whatever you would like. And before we leave, make sure that you do have a few pal spheres. We need those so we can get a few more employees. Now we're going to spend time actually catching a few more pals. So what you're going to do, you're going to spot a penguin and you're going to crouch up on them. Essentially, you want to crouch up on them so they do not run away like your last Tinder date. Now hopefully you should have two penguins by this time. I accidentally killed mine, but don't worry about it. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go straight back to base and put the penguin to work. If you've been paying attention, the pals actually do have different skill traits. The kind of skill traits that you want are the ones that enhance the work speed or have better sanity levels. To check this, press F on the pal and you can see what traits he has. Then the extra pal that you placed, go ahead and replace him with the penguin. Beautiful. You basically have made your base quite operational, but there's still a little bit more work to be done. All right, kiddos, now you're going to have to follow my steps. You're going to glide your way over down to this little area. Once you've done that, keep going forward and go to this rock formation. Keep going forward until you hit the edge of the cliff. Here, you'll find an egg and a tree. You can go ahead and pick up the egg, and now we're going to double jump over to the other side. Go ahead and collect the effigy here, and go ahead and collect the resources from the tree. Now that we're on a new part of the island, I want you guys to just keep going forward and try to find a tansy. Just like the penguin and every other pal, go ahead and capture the tansy. You probably saw that there is a castle, so go ahead and make your way over there. If there are syndicate thugs in your way, just avoid them for the time being. Go ahead and climb up the castle wall and just make your way up to the tower. Here you'll find a little bit of loot and a big egg. Now I want you to glide that beautiful ass down on over to the teleporter. I recommend staying around trying to capture a few more tansies or other pals that you want to collect within the area. And if you do stay around in the area, go ahead and climb up this tower for another effigy. And if you have two tansies at least caught, now we can go back to the base. By this point, you should have an extra slot that you can put a tansy inside of. Just make sure that you have two cativas, one penguin, a lamb ball, and a tansy. Congratulations, now you run and operate an Amazon warehouse. And no worries, they work harder than a blue-collared worker in the winter. Now, obviously, it will be faster if you do help out around the camp every so often, but now they will gather resources for you and put them inside the chest. Now, with the current version of the game that I'm playing, the tansies will glitch sometimes, so sometimes you will have to pick them up and throw them at a tree. Obviously, in later versions of the game, this will not be an issue, but for the time being, if this glitch does happen, go ahead and throw them at the tree, and please report this to the devs. Now we want to get a pal that will actually help us during fights. Make your way over down the hill, and go ahead and find a Fox Parks. In this instance, you'll obviously hurt him, and try to hire him. Don't forget to use your stat points, just make sure that you are ranking up your stamina and your weight. Plus, while we're down here, go ahead and get the teleporter, and go on over where the campfire is, grab your effigy and the diary there. We're going to keep making our way forward through the canyon, and along the way, go ahead and try to collect a few more pals, or just go ahead and take them out. Whatever you want to do, just note that this is for XP reasons. Now make your way over to this little path, and go ahead and get the teleporter on the other side. Then, you're going to travel up these stairs and fight the syndicate thugs. Once you've taken out the thugs, you're going to go ahead and unlock the cage. This will guarantee you a free pal, and sometimes they do respawn. Just note that it won't be instantly. Head on back over to the teleporter, and let's go back to base. Now, you're going to go ahead and actually unlock a few items. Go ahead and get the pal gear workbench, the statue of power, logging site, stone pit, crusher, fox sparks harness, and the ranch. Go ahead and place the pal gear workbench. You can place it wherever you'd like and off to the side, place the Statue of Power. Don't forget to place a few more pal beds for the extra pals that you have collected. And you should be a high enough level to go ahead and unlock the hot springs. 
Now we'll place the hot springs wherever you would like. And if you don't have enough pal fluid, go ahead and kill a few more penguins for it. Now come on over to the power statue and commit a sacrifice. All those effigies that you've collected earlier will actually now be useful to you. And now we're going to improve the stats on the fox sparks. Within power world you'll find souls that can enhance your pals. The stats are max health, attack, defense, and work speed. As you can see I am enhancing my max health and my attack for my fox sparks. Now we're going to go on over to the pals workbench and we're going to craft a fox sparks harness. Your fox sparks is now a flamethrower that you can use whenever you would like. To use this ability, go ahead and place him down on the ground, and then hold F, and then he will automatically go into your arms. Now we have a flamethrower that can burn all your enemies alive. Make sure you do have a few balls ready within your hands. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and fight a boss. I want you to teleport on over to the Fort Ruins. Once you're there, you're going to see an icon of a big pal. So, make your way on over to this pal. Once you see him, you're going to go ahead and W key him and use the flamethrower on him. You should be able to drop his HP basically down to zero within just a couple seconds. Once you got him below 100 HP, you're going to go ahead and try to capture him. Now you have your first ancient technology point and a few technology scrap. Plus, you should be a high enough level to go ahead and unlock the nails, the feather headband, and the primitive furnace. And with your ancient technology point, go ahead and get the egg incubator. Don't exactly go straight back to base because we're going to stay up for the night. During the nighttime, you can actually go ahead and try to fight a few more pals. They'll be asleep, so they'll be easier to do damage to. And we're going to be looking for one of the best employees to hire him on the spot. This bad boy. The Tombat is going to be your next employee, so be careful on fighting him because he is quite powerful. Now that you hired the employee, now go whack a few who crates. Make sure to hire them for the business. Now make your way back on over to the base. Once you're back at base, now you can put the Tombat straight to work. You should be at a high enough level now to go ahead and get the high quality workbench, the metal axe, and the metal pickaxe. Then place your egg incubator wherever you would like. And then go ahead and fill it up with an egg. And if it says that it is too cold, go ahead and build a campfire right next to it. Now go on over and place a primitive furnace. If you don't have enough fire organs, just go take out a few fox sparks in the area. Then you're going to go over to the side of the cliff, place a logging site, the stone pit, a chest, and the crusher. Now you should be able to upgrade your base once more. And then, in the new slot, go ahead and place a Fox Sparks. I know this sounds weird, but now you're going to disassemble the Stone Pit. Basically, now your Tombat will be more an efficient worker. The Stone Pit prevents him from doing his job. And now we're going to rank up the base one more time by placing a Berry Plantation right next to the other one. Now, we want to rank up just a couple more times so we can get to the crossbow. Now, go ahead and start in slate, I mean, hiring all the pals in the area. And if you do find a Dinosaur, go ahead and try to hire him. Now go ahead and put the dinosaur in a work spot. Same thing with one of your extra fox sparks. And if you're wondering why the footage doesn't match with where I was at, it's because I'm dumb and I didn't record the footage properly. Now go ahead and start with the furnace with ingots. Then once those ingots are smelted, go ahead and make five nails. And then once you've acquired the nails, go ahead and place down the high quality workbench. Now go back into your inventory, into the technology tab, and now we're going to unlock the pelt armor, the crossbow, medieval medicine workbench, and the metal spear. And now you're going to spend about 10 minutes collecting ore. Basically, the most fun part of the game. But you ain't no dummy, and time is money. So only grab one ore patch, put that shit in the furnace, pick it up, and now you're going to upgrade it to a metal pickaxe and a metal axe. And then you're going to go mine some more ore just for a couple minutes. Now that you have a decent amount of copper, go ahead and make 10 sets of nails. Now that you have that finished, go ahead and make a crossbow and a steel spear. Right after that, go ahead and craft the pell armor and the feather headband. Now you are fully decked out and you are geared to fight the first boss of the game. But we got to do a few more base expansions. Go ahead and place on the medieval medicine workbench and a ranch off to the side. This should allow you to be able to upgrade your base if you choose so. But now we're going to go fight the, the big, big boss. boss. So make sure you have enough arrows and your gear is not damaged. Teleport on over to Rain Syndicate Tower. Walk up to the entrance. And now be prepared for the biggest fight of your life.